Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. I very quickly want to talk about a game called Bios Megafauna. Now, this is a Phil Eklund game. It's a humongous game and very, very epic. I'm not going to show it to you today because I don't feel like I am worthy of doing so. That might sound a little funny because usually I tell you the conclusion, I show you a little bit about the game, and I tell you if you should buy it or not. I don't feel like I can grasp this game enough to show you the inner workings of it and kind of tell you how it plays. Now, at its core, the game is rather simple, and the fact that there's four actions that you can choose. Purchase a card and play it, increase your size, etc. These four actions that you can do. Any of those four actions are rather simple, and when you put the game out, which is how I recommend you learning it, is uh, ditch the rule book, take this rule book that comes with the game and throw it out, find the living rule book, and bring that out, and then put the pieces on the board and move things around. This game is going to take you a little bit to understand. It's going to take four or five, maybe two or three plays to see the interlocking and inner workings of stuff. If you're a casual gamer to this sort of game, I think it will take you more time, maybe two to four plays, to just totally see how things are interlocking and working. I highly recommend you pulling this out solo, going through the solo roles, and trying to play it. Now, if you play these games all the time, or you played America Megafauna, or The Origins of Man, or some of his other games, and you have no problems with them, and you like them, I think you'll pick it up a little bit quicker. You know, this is a redo of America Megafauna, taking it in scope, making it a little bit more Euro-friendly, if you will. Now, for us, it, let me say this. If you th look at this game, you're like, wow, this is the game for me. Turn on this video, you don't need it. This isn't for you. Yes, you're going to like this game. This is more for the person who's like, wow, what is this? I like dinosaurs. I kind of like what they're doing here. I like the evolution of the dinosaurs. I like the conflict that's going on. I kind of like this. Never played anything like this. Is this something for me? Ugh, probably not. If you can look at this and you know it's not for you or you don't feel like it is for you 100%, then it's probably not. Here's why. The game is complicated. There's a lot going on. It's very hard to grok and hard to understand. If you're like, wow, that's right up my alley, then you're probably already that other group where I said you'd probably really like this. It, it's very complicated in nature. The game has a lot of replayability. So if it is something you like, you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck inside. It's very interesting. I think what's going on in the story that it tells is very interesting. But for those that don't like a complicated rule set, who... Don't want to necessarily want to go through all the interlocking pieces and your decisions can really hamper you in this game. And that's kind of where I have a problem with it. It's probably less a game and more of a simulation. And that's okay, but it's something I would prefer to play probably on a computer like Sim Earth back in the day or something like that versus what I'm getting with this game. When I play a game, I almost want more of a game. And sometimes you'll see that you're like, well, why is that happening? Because rules. In this game, there are rules because it likely happens in real life. Sounds great. You'd be like, I'm in. I'm in. Eh. I don't know if that translates to fun for most gamers. Now, there are people who want to play a simulation and sit down and, and kind of want this to play out, but I think they're already in. I'm talking to the middle ground, the uncertainty of people who hate it, people who are in, and now you're kind of figuring out if you are. You know, this is something I thought I would like, and I didn't. I feel like even though I've played it uh, three times, I feel like that I'm still not in it, in it, in it. I find myself getting bored with it. I find myself getting distracted. Um, I find that I want to like it more than I do. And with limited time and limited resource and so many games that I feel like I could better spend my gaming time somewhere else. So people are inevitably going to ask, you know, probably comment on this and say like, why did you make a video about this? Because I feel like my voice is still important to be heard. I think there are a lot of people like me. I think they may be on the fence about this and may want to know, hey, where do I fit into this? I would say, you know, Maybe try this before you buy it or download the rules and look at them and go through the rules and see if it's something that you might want. And I think that's where I would kind of hold it is if you download the rules and you look at them and you feel like this is something you want to get into and you feel like, okay, now I want to move the pieces around, then I would invest in this game. It's complicated. It's long. It's hard to understand. It's going to take a couple plays. You know, this isn't a ticket to ride. You're just going to jump in and be able to devise some strategies as you play. But if that sounds interesting to you and you want to be into this a little bit and give it a try, by all means, try it out. I don't want to discourage you. It's a solid game. There's a lot here. It's got replayability. It's got a great theme. There's a lot of things going for it. At the end of the day, it just wasn't for me. Maybe it will be for you. For me, it's going to be a purge. 
Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing games.